I don't know if it's just me, but my hair's looking pretty good today. What do you think? I mean, yeah, it looks, it does. It's, it's, the curls are all like very don't touch perfectly. It, I won't, hey, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. What's up, everybody? Welcome to This Week in MLS presented by Target. Joined by my dude, Kalen Carr. Feels good being on this couch with you. This is our home away from home, this studio. So we might as well just move in, right? And we've got our own dog. We've got Spot the dog with us. Spot. Big, it's just, you know, what a legend. it's cozy, it's cozy. You yeah. guys, week eight in the MLS. We were eight weeks into this season, and this one was crazy. We saw a ton of goals, Kalen. So many goals. So many goals. So we're going to. Thank you, Vancouver. Thank you. Thank you, Vancouver and Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to start the show by addressing one of our commenters. This is what we're, we're doing these days. So we've got Mateo Camisa, who says, no TFC talk again, LOL. They never get any love on these videos. Well, <laughs> Mateo. That love is not going to start today because, uh, once again, TFC unable to come up with a win. They lose 5-1 uh, to, to Houston. Now, admittedly, admittedly, this was a reserve team that they put out there. The first team, obviously, already in Guadalajara for their big CCL game tonight. Yeah. Fingers crossed. We, yeah, we got to get a win tonight. Got to get we, a win. I say we because I, I feel like all of MLS, we are TFC. We I feel like, well, yeah, happen. everybody. Yeah. I think every MLS team should be rooting for, and for TFC. for the record, I've done two movement episodes uh, about Toronto. Yeah, FC. so so, so like, Mateo, why don't you just go to go Mateo. to our website and and find all the TFC Spend content? It's there. Yeah. It is there. Um, but let's talk a little bit about TFC because right now they're sitting in last place. They only have one win. They've got three points on the season. Nobody is panicking yet. I mean, they have put so much energy and emphasis on CCL as they should. Yeah. Um, but you know, the truth is they've got a lot of ground to make up. You know, we're basically a quarter of the way through the season. Yeah, but they've got the squad to be able to do it. I, I wouldn't be too worried about. About it. This game against Houston was a little bit of a bloodbath, though. Yes, for the young players. It was. Uh, Houston's a team that's caused problems for everybody in MLS, especially with those wingers, Elise and Kyoto on both sides mm -hmm. were electric going forward. Uh, Elise is one of my favorite players to uh -huh. watch, Susanna. And for some of these young TFC players, it was. A learning experience. You, yes, we were watching this game together, and you kept saying, "Like, wow, this is these are teaching moments for, for some, just, like, some of these defenders." Moments. You want to just go blank. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys, TFC fans, no need to panic at all. You're going to be just fine. But you know, you've got some work to do, yep. and you will. You'll Second get it done. Second win at home this season for Houston. Yep. They need to get on a roll. They, I, I think they will. If a guy like Elise can can keep yep. staying hot, then. They're going to be in good shape. All right, let's move it right along. It's time for our twin takeaways, and oh, I'm going to let you. Go. I'm going to let you go first, Kaylin Carr. Wow, that's so kind of you. I know. Um, I am. My twin takeaway mm -hmm. is going to be LAFC. LAFC have uh, now finished their road trip. They're going to return home to Bank of California Stadium. Uh, at this beautiful brand new stadium, by the way, I took a tour of it at the ribbon cutting last week. Oh yeah, you were, because we were there um, in December and it was, the shell was up, but it still wasn't really complete. Yeah. But you got to see basically the finished product. It looked like the, the locker room <laughs> looks like the inside of like a Louis Vuitton. Oh man. Man bag. Fancy. Yeah. Real fancy. I was like, I can't not <laughs> afford to be here. Like, I don't, I can't afford anything. Whatever you're selling, I can't. You didn't want to touch anything. Yeah, I didn't want to. Like, don't get up. fingerprints on uh, that stuff. <laughs> no, yeah. but I'm excited to see them like break in the stadium. Yeah. And, get it. and in this team, you have to say, 12 points from six away games. Who would have thought? Honestly, I don't think they. I think they were genuinely surprised at how well they did to start the season. Well, now is a little bit of a tricky spot for them because coming home doesn't necessarily mean sure. you're guaranteed good home performance. So uh, still a lot to do, but what an incredible start to the season. Yeah. Bob Bradley deserves so much credit. For I'm super excited. And John Thorington, by the way, I had uh, breakfast with Old him. friend. Old friend of Kalen's, by the way. Okay, great, good takeaway. Thank you. Solid takeaway. You. Um, okay, so my twim takeaway, I am going to talk about the Portland Timbers, you guys, who have now won two games in a row. They're coming off a big 3-0 win over NYCFC. That was NYCFC's first loss of the season, um, and they have arguably been the best team in the league. The best? So far. They have so been far. the best so far. So this was was, this was something. Um, defensively, they looked really, really strong, especially in the midfield as well. They were able to Ridgewell came back into the team. Exactly. Ridgewell was back. Um, Sebastian Blanco scored that, like, 
looping header. Yeah. He's, he's small. He's that looked not, like your level hop. It was. He really got up there. Um, but you he's played been, volleyball, right? And I basketball. Did play, I played volleyball and basketball. So I got some ups. You know what that's like. I to, do. To float above the, of the masses. Yeah. I do. Um, so Sebastian Blanco has been really, really good for them. Um, Gio Severese said that this game was a really, really important win for them. And it kind of felt like that. I think that this is one of those results. Because they started the season so slowly, I think that if they go on a run here, they can look back at this game and say, this is kind of where we started to figure it out. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm happy for, for Portland Timbers. I know we've made it this far in the show without a shout out so far. Ooh. But can I give one to give Timbers a shout Army? Out. Give, give a shout Timbers out. Timbers Army, I, I love th this club and, and the culture around it. Mm -hmm. um, and for what they stand up for, which is like diversity, That's inclusion, great. all different uh, genders, races, religions, ethnicities coming yeah. together in Portland for this thing. And they had a really cool TIFO to start the match uh, for that too. So they shout did. out to the Timbers. They always, they do it right. Yeah. They do it right. That's awesome. I love it. Okay, so those are our twin takeaways. Um, Kaylin, we are going to, we're going to, I don't think you were here for this when we did this with Stephen Keel. The hat trick oh, segment, and the reason watch this. the reason that we're doing this uh, hat trick segment is because my guy, Kansas City's Johnny Russell, who I talked about last week, scored a hat trick this week. You guys, Kansas City beat Vancouver six nil, six nil. Yeah, that was a lot, a lot of goals. Um, Vancouver. Got a little bit of uh, back to the drawing board for them. They're but, working on it. They're working on it. In honor of my guy, Johnny Russell, we're going to do the hat trick. So basically, we have a bunch of teams in here. Okay. We're going to pick one out, and whatever team is on your okay. card, we're going to talk about I'm not sure if Sporting game. Kansas City is in this, but can I say that I feel like they may be one of the best teams in the Western Conference? Yeah. Uh, I think they are undefeated in their last five five games seven games it could be seven games is it really yeah that's impressive uh some of them have been kind of a little more high in scoring mm -hmm. than they're used to but this team is gelled gelling together they have really and there well. were questions there were questions at the start of the season especially, yeah. especially defensively i'm, I'm not they on were that allowing train a lot of goals but now I'm all in on now, City. now he's all in okay. okay there we go there we go there we go what you got what you got fc dallas fc dallas okay all right, take it away, Kalen. There it is. What do we got to uh, say well, about FC Dallas? Uh, FC Dallas is the only undefeated team in MLS right now. So that says it all. They're... NYCFC have lost now in Dallas. You guys deserve to be talked mm -hmm. about. Um, another win for them. Yep. And 2-0 two, uh, two over uh, Philadelphia. Yep. And Philly's been having some trouble. Scuffling a little bit, but. But some of these results have been at home. Some have been on the road. They went up to New England, mm -hmm. got a win up there. Uh, Corey Hayes has been excellent for yep. them going forward. Max Arudi finally gets a goal yep. in this one. Mauro Diaz comes in off the bench. He puts away uh, the penalty. I feel like as soon as he came in that game too, for it makes a difference. This team needed a good start better th more than any other team in MLS yes. this year. After what they've gone through last season, oh, uh, just rough. tanking really at the end of the season. <laughs> Not tanking Jeez. like they were trying, but <laughs> kind of look like it sometimes. Yeah. Uh, this team now uh, has gotten off to a great start and have, that's such important for this team because they needed some spirit. I like it, yep. good one, okay. Reaching in, reaching in. This is very high tech by the way. It is, <laughs> okay. so we are. Seattle Sounders. We're going to talk about the Seattle Sounders. So, hey, Seattle Sounders, congrats. You pick up your first win of the season. Way to go. A 3-1 win over Minnesota at home. Um, you know, they haven't been they haven't been great. They've been missing a lot of guys, but you know, they get Ozzy Alonso back, they get Clint Dempsey back who comes in off the bench. Uh, Bear Dam as well. Yep. Uh, and Christian Roldan was really he was outstanding for them. I feel like he's a really really important piece. Um, Svensson, that goal from Svensson, that was a banger. Oh my God. Huh? Yeah. That was, that was he was like, wait, uh, somebody talking about a Swedish player uh -huh. coming to MLS? Like, yeah. I'm the Swedish World Cup star yep. banging goals from deep. Uh, that uh -huh. was awesome. Yeah, this was. His um, personality is a little different. I, from, from uh, you know, just just like a moral standpoint, I feel like yeah. this was a this was a good, important win for Seattle. I still think there is they're not they're not the same team that they were. I you know like I, I still think that there are, are some issues for them. Um, but this is one hopefully that they can they can build on. You take away the positives, and uh, I don't know what do you think about Clint Dempsey coming off the bench too? Uh, I know he wasn't thrilled about yeah, it. Yeah, not happy about it, but I, this is a good role for him. Will Bruin, I think, gives him a little bit more yeah. uh, in the form of just being active. Mm -hmm. But Christian Roldan is, is their best player yeah. on the team, will be going forward. Most important player. He was fantastic in this one as well. Uh, him in that underneath spot, I think, is really 
why Clint might not actually fit right now yeah. uh, as a, from the start because Christian's been so good there. He can play in other positions, can play on the wing, but in that uh, hole underneath the striker is where I think he's actually best. Yeah, all right. Uno, uno, uno mas. Here we okay. go. Here we Two go. More. RSL Lake. RSL. I'm excited about this RSL. One. They needed a good result. Oh, boy, did uh, they. They've been struggling early in the season, seemed to ha lack some chemistry, and it came together, of course, uh, Colorado getting the early red card to Tim Howard yeah. came off. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> I felt like a little hard done maybe on that. I know I know it hits his hand, but I don't think he's trying to play. I, yeah, it didn't look like that was intentional. If you but... want to debate uh, calls, though, please go to our uh, <laughs> our other show. Instant replay. Instant replay, yeah, where you can really hash it out. There but. you go. And can we talk about Albert Rusnak? Yes, we his can. Goal Susanna. We sure can. Catches beautiful. McMath, maybe just leaning the wrong direction. <sighs> I don't know if he would have got there anyways. I, I mean, he curls that it was, just around the it, wall. It was just, yep. And he gives you like a little wink mm -hmm. to the camera, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Yep. Like at, at, after the goal celebration. I also <laughs> noticed for the first time that he has excellent hair. You know I'm all about the soccer hair. Albert Rusnak's hair is like okay. top notch. Show, just gonna flow show. Flow show. That's my little flow show. There you go. Shout out. Wow. Um, that was our hat trick. Hat trick. Did you and, like that? And a little like extra. You point like that for the, uh, for the teams that we didn't get flow. to: New England Revs, Atlanta, and Orlando. Y'all did great this weekend. Orlando City won four in a row. <laughs> Atlanta beat the Galaxy, yep. and New England tied with Columbus. And um, you've been pretty good this year. So that's our. There we go. <laughs> Done and dusted. That's the run through. Uh, oh, I'm hiding the button. Kaylin, it's about okay. that time. Let's do, do it. Do the honors. Did you see that? Ah, oh, Simon. Let's get it. Let's so get much it. enthusiasm. So much energy. Get after it. All right, I'm excited. Let's let's see these. What do we got? Oh, oh. oh God, I have such strong feelings about this. What? What is this? What is he doing? Just get, just get I am. I am on. not okay, on board. I'm not, I am not on board with this goal celebration. Wow! I, of like all people, the, I would expect you to. I, he's better than this. Really? He is better than this. I've seen. That's you know, a he used to do the salsa. It's a little what, samba. A little what, I don't even know that is not a salsa. I don't know what you that is. Loosen up the hips Who? a little bit. Uh, yeah. uh, also, I'm just. I'm not feeling the samurai do. I, it's not my favorite. <laughs> the whole the whole thing is not working for me. So okay. that's just my take. All right. Well, you get, you I know. mean, good goal, but. Jeez. Bad or you just express yourself. Like, you know, Sorry, Max. Do you, Max? <laughs> <laughs> Kaylin, that's it. That's all we got. That's the whole show. That's the whole darn show. Eight weeks in. How are we feeling? Wow. We good? I'm feeling we're good. good. <laughs> I, think we're, I think we're just hitting our stride, hitting our stride you guys. Yeah. Um, you guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, we want you to get in those comments and uh, ask us questions. Tell us what you want to hear. Like, we're, we're open to anything. We're open to suggestions. We like it. Yeah, absolutely. Compliments. <laughs> Compliments. Yeah. Dates. Proposals. Yeah, Any everyone's proposing to you, by the way, in the comment section. I'm too, I mean, I'm killing it in the comments. You really are. I know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm ready to delete all the dating apps. That's it. Wow. We're just just sticking to, first, the, guys. sticking to Breaking the news. The YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube DMs are open. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, and on that note, guys, thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next week.